and September 23rd. Solstice. This is a time when the sun is vertically overhead at the Tropic of Cancer or Capricorn. And it occurs on December 22nd and June 21st. However, during solstice, the period of day and night is not equal. Now, this is a typical illustration of what we have just talked about. You can see the sun in the middle and the earth revolving around it. And the position, these are the significant, four significant positions on the earth during revolution. And at this position, different things occur. You can see March, where we have um, the spring and the winter giving us the various seasons and the autumn and summer also give us, giving us the various seasons that we have based on the rotation of the earth, sorry, the revolution of the earth. And as the earth revolves, equinox occurs and solstice also occurs, where we have equal day and equal night. And in this other case, we have varying lengths or periods of day and night. Now let's continue as we look at latitudes and longitudes. Latitude. This is an angular distance of a point on the Earth's surface measured in degrees from the center of the Earth. It runs from the east to the west. Equator divides the earth into two equal halves. We have one at the top called the northern hemisphere and the one at the bottom which is the southern hemisphere. The equator has a latitude of zero degrees. Now, with knowledge of the latitude, we can calculate the distances using lines of latitude. And it's a very simple calculation. If we follow the steps laid down here, the first step is you locate the two places involved. Having located the places involved, you will find, the next step is to find the latitude difference between these two places. And here is a formula to enable you to find the latitude difference between the places. If we have a situation where the two places involved are not north, to find the latitude difference, you will subtract one from the other and of course you subtract the smaller one from the bigger one. And if we have a situation where they are south-south, the two places are located south-south, subtraction is also involved. But if, on the other hand, we have north-south, one, one place is located north and the other place is located south. We do what? We add. And there is a, a peculiar or a special case where an equator is involved. If one of the places located is at the equator, and you know, as we said earlier, that the equator has a latitude of zero degrees. So in this case, you either add or you subtract because whatever you do really does not have a great effect because equator is at zero 
degrees. And the next step is you multiply the latitude difference by 111 kilometers. And this figure is gotten from the relationship that we have talked about earlier, that one degree of latitude is approximately 111 kilometers on ground. And this is gotten by dividing the equatorial circumference. The equatorial circumference is 40,058 kilometers by 360. 360 is the angle made by the Earth as it revolves, as it makes a complete revolution, as angle at the point. Now let's consider this example to further help our understanding. Okay, now, example one. So calculate the distance between the equator, latitude zero degrees, and Egypt, latitude 30 degrees north. Solution. Remember we said that equator is latitude zero degrees. It may not always be stated that it is zero degrees, just as it is stated here. But you should understand that the equator is always at the zero degrees latitude. And now we have to calculate the distance between the equator and Egypt, which is at latitude 30 degrees north. Following the steps we earlier stated, Number one is to locate the two places involved. And the first place is equator, which is at latitude zero degrees. Latitude zero degrees and the next place is Egypt which is at latitude 30 degrees north and now having located these two places the next step is to find the latitude difference between the two places. Still on the steps or procedures for doing or carrying out this calculation, we said if the two places involved are equator and, for example, here Egypt, which is north. We either do what we subtract or we add because we are dealing with the equator. But in a case where we are not dealing with the equator, and probably we had maybe South Africa on a particular latitude, and probably we say latitude 15 degrees south. What you do in this case to find the latitude difference is that you will add so that was just to help us understand this concept better in the case where the question comes in different ways so let's continue so to find the latitude difference of this we either add or we subtract latitude difference equals to 30 plus 0 degrees which is 30 degrees so that's the latitude difference the next step is to find 
to multiply the latitude difference by 111 kilometers. I already told you how we got the 111 kilometers. Since one degree equals to 111 kilometers, therefore 30 degrees, of course you know where we got the 30 from, which is the latitude difference. 30 degrees will be, that's what we are looking for. So, if we do the simple mathematic cross multiplication, we have that x will be equal to 30 times 111 kilometer. And that will give us 330 kilometers. 300, 3330 kilometers. This being the multiplication equals to 3330 kilometers. Now the distance between equator and Egypt is therefore 3,000.